Hi Aquarius and welcome to your message. This is going to be your message for the full super moon in Pisces. All right. Uh, this is going to take place on the 30th or 31st, wherever you're located. All right. So I thought I would uh, talk to you face to face here. So it's been a while and it's totally, it's way hot here. Okay. So I just came off on vacation. It was 113 and I think I left Minnesota at that time, uh, you know, at, on that date. And I'm coming back here and it was what, 98 degrees or something? 98 degrees today. It's, oh, it's incredibly hot. Do you believe it's hotter in the Midwest than it was here? So, and, I, and I'm in San Diego. So crazy. So let's dive in. This is going to be a personal message just for you. It's a timely message. So I hope that you're getting this between the 30th and 31st here uh, to take heed. Um, it's it's that using that, that lunar cycles... Uh, uh, you know, lose, using the lunar cycles in terms of manifesting and uh, help guiding you, uh, you know, in terms of modern, you know, tarot and oracle. This is what I'm going to be doing for you today. All right. But we're going to be using that, that Piscean energy and how you can capitalize in on that. Okay. So with that being said, um, yeah, this is going to, this is going to help you recharge. It's going to help you Aquarius uh, recalibrate, um, you know, your energy and alignment with the universal energy. So this is going to really help a lot. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to pull six cards. All right. So we're going to uh, pull six cards here and then we will see what comes up. I'm going to actually use the moon cards. So the really pretty moon cards. So I'm going to use those and then I will hold them up, you know, in terms of uh, what is coming out for you here. All right. So give me three more for Aquarius. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I hope you guys are a lot cooler than me here, Becca, but dang, it is hot. All right. Really hot here. Um, all right. So, and I'm too close to the water, so I don't get any air other than, you know, any sort of breeze. So I have to create my own air. <laughs> it's crazy, but I know you guys get it. It's like fans, portable air conditionings, all that fun stuff. Right? So, um, let's take a look. What's at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, we got the lover's card. All right. So this is coming together. You know, this is really beautiful energy because, um, what's going to support you in this process is a coming together, right? You know, the lovers is Gemini energy. You could be doing with the Gemini perhaps as well. Uh, we're going to touch on a lot of different areas, but I'm going to, this is your underlying energy. It's, it's coming together to hearts uh, coming together. This could be coming together in a connection, some sort of partnership. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be some sort of partnership. You're coming together in some sort of uh, creativity, some sort of project coming together to work with someone uh, or just, you know, coming together in love, you know, literally. All right. So that's what I get coming through. But let's take a look at what dreams have come into the, your consciousness within the last six months, because the full moons are about letting go, but it's also realizing the achievement that you've made. So let's go ahead and dive into that. So what I get for this is the eight of stars. Now you've created some sort of change, right? Uh, the eight of pentacles. So this is really focusing in on creating change in your life. Now for some of you, you've changed, uh, you've created change in your work. Uh, this is about putting in the work, you know, she's creating, you know, there's someone that's creating something, sowing something, sowing the seeds of prosperity. So I think that what dreams have come into the consciousness in the last six months is how to bring greater prosperity into your life, Aqua. I feel that there has been something that has come into play that is helping you do that, okay? Um, I'm going to see a little bit more on, you know, what the achievements have come into play for yourself, but it's creating change to bring stability into your life. And so the uh, dreams that have come into the consciousness in the last six months is how to create uh, the fabric of your dreams and bring it down onto this earthly plane. So this is, you know, earth energy uh, with the pentacles coming through here. What else do I get? Yeah, I think that what you've discovered is that your in intuition and your healing powers are pretty powerful. All right. And they guide you. They're guiding you in a better way rather than, you know, any other person could uh, recommend for you. It's using your, in your own intuition and your own um, healing powers to heal and also to guide you on a better path. And now you're being very careful of the seeds that you sow within your life in terms of moving forward uh, where you place your energy, effort, and time is what I'm getting. And what else do I get? 
a message. I get a message. Um, you know, perhaps you're getting messages. Um, now I do get Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through here. Uh, so this is your energy, but I do get power, victory, and clarity on how to use your intuition better. I think a lot of you are heeding your intuition and using its guidance. You know, um, you know it, what's what's really crazy, guys. You know, I, I actually uh, even before I went on vacation, I used my intuition. And I knew I could save, uh, you know, I could save quite a bit of money by by parking in a particular area. And it was a risk because they could give me a ticket or they could not. And I'm not mentioning that you do this or suggesting that you do this. I'm just telling you that I used my guidance and I just knew. I just knew that, you know, go ahead and park there. It's going to totally be fine. And, and I did. And I saved myself $100, you know. So, you know, it's just these little things that, you know, can really help you if you heed your intuition. Now, I'm not, again, <laughs> telling you to park and, 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 and take a risk and get a ticket by no means. I'm just telling you that I hated, I, I kind of listened to my intuition. And what was kind of crazy during that time is that within San Diego, we were having some sort of hurricane, uh, uh, you know, uh, warning and, uh, and alerts coming out. And, and perhaps that actually moved the, uh, the attention from that a tad bit. But in any event, uh, I listened to my intuition and I just knew it. I just knew that I needed to park here and I was going to save a hundred bucks and I just needed to do it. And there wasn't going to be any problem whatsoever. And, and my gut feeling just told me that. And so I started listening to my gut more. And I got to tell you guys, it has been so eye opening. So I feel for you, you've got the clarity. There's some sort of message coming through, um, you know, with this page of swords, uh, there could be some sort of energetic, maybe you've got some new energy coming through for yourself right now. Um, some brand new energy about some sort of message. Now this could be from someone um, and it's going to allow you to take outside action. Okay. Cancer energy. So I feel that there is some sort of message that comes through Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, maybe about working together in some sort of partnerships, but you're using your, you've gone through some healing in your life and now you're using your intuition. And this is about, you know, what has come into your higher consciousness within the last six months is what I'm getting. Note your comments guys. Now, how can you manifest your dream and bring it into being? This is crazy because we just got the chariot, right? Well, this is the chariot in the moon energy coming through. So this is taking outside action. Now you got two cards in it, okay? You're, you know what it, you need to do to take to outside. You need to take outside action and have faith to move forward. All right. Have faith. And this is following the guidance of the moon, you know, the lunar cycles as well. But, uh, you know, uh, especially this super moon, because it's going to be the biggest and the brightest. And it's the perfect time to honor your achievements of this higher consciousness that you've received so far and to be able to uh, uh, let go of what no longer serves you and how to move forward with cancer energy, you know, and have faith on what you want to accomplish person place or thing okay so that's what I get so you're hidden you know you how can you manifest your dream and bring it into being take outside action okay you've thought enough uh, you, you've, you've thought enough about it, right? You've had a higher consciousness of learning about something and you've ascended it in a particular area. You've no, you, there's been some sort of enlightenment and knowing here. Okay. Uh, and, and now this is you using your intuition and your healing powers, uh, that you have used to heal yourself. And now you are moving forward and taking action on putting your dream into being. All right, cancer energy. Now you could be dealing with a cancer or partnering up with a cancer as well. All right, uh, what else do I get? The star card. Here you are, guys. Here you are. You and perhaps someone who's got cancer in their chart, or this is you with a renewal moving forward, taking action on your dreams. All right. Perfect timing, guys. Use the universe to help you, especially the lunar phases here. And that's why I'm giving out these messages with these moon cycles, all right? Uh, I, I just found it to be so successful for myself, and I, and I want to share this with you and, I, uh, and help you be, uh, uh, you know, to tap into it as well. But I do get reaching for your dreams. Take outside action to, to focus in on your happiness, to move forward on your dreams, all right? Um, any other guidance that wants to come through for that? Uh, let's go ahead and pull a moon card that'll be important. Uh, and this is, again, how can you manifest your dream and bring it into being? Uh, have faith. Take outside action, all right? Go towards your dreams. It's not going to happen on its own, all right? You're going to have to reach for it, and you're going to have to take outside action towards it, all right? And why not let the universal energies help you out with the moon face, right? All right. So what does the moon cards have to say for you in terms of any sort of guidance? Yeah. I have the power, and it's real. And you do. 
You really do. You have the power to create the life that you want and to make your dreams come true. And this is a full moon card. What perfect card could come out for you, right? At the full moon, all right? So uh, in any event, that's what I'm getting there. Now, what is your hidden emotions that's being illuminated right now? Uh, I get the king of swords, okay? This is being in the head, all right? So, you know, what a hidden emotion is something in, in that is being illuminated right now. I get the king of swords, all right? Give me a little bit more uh, in the head, all right? Uh, four of stars, so this is four of pentacles, in the head about your stability and your security. There's some sort of emotions about your stability and security coming through. I get pentacle energy. And this is to let you know with the wheel of fortune that you're changing directions, right? This is about changing directions and also expansion. So, you know, what you what is the hidden emotions that need to be illuminated right now is taking control of your mind allowing your mind to take control uh, about your stability and, sh and, 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 and your security, right? And, and allowing a transformation to take place with that snake there and give you the wings to fly as you expand and change directions. It's lucky it's ruled by Jupiter, guys. It's, it's a beautiful time for you. Uh, so I do feel that the, uh, the emotions that are being illuminated right now are to transform um, it is to have, uh, you know, to be able to shift directions and take that step, uh, have faith, right? And to uh, allow, uh, move towards what your heart wants, you know, person, place, or thing. I'm going to pull another card on this. We'll see what else wants to come through, but what do we get? Yeah, you've made a discovery. You've made some sort of discovery and there's been some sort of growth, all right? There is a page of rods, so fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius comes through. So, you know, this is me, you've made a discovery uh, and uh, you're, I think you're capitalizing in on that. Uh, anything else that wants to come through? Yeah, this is about getting grounded, that you're going to be solid and grounded, all right? Aries energy. You could have that in your chart or be dealing with an Aries, but this is uh, taking solidity, focusing in on a strong, solid foundation, uh, having faith and going after your heart, okay? What it is that you want. Uh, any moon advice uh, for this area and what do we get? I flow towards my goal and I'm strongly protected as I go. So it's, it's almost like it's like you're overcoming fear. You're overcoming fear by taking the step and moving forward because you've been transformed. And you know that you've, what you've got behind you is those universal energies working with you right now. So capitalize on that, guys. I flow towards my goal. I am strongly protected as I go. And you might want to note that in the description box below, kind of to get that to, to get that energy flowing and start, start putting those intentions out. All right. Now, what what uh, what is what are you trying to escape? Okay, uh, you're trying to escape. I get the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands shifts energy, right? She transforms it and she moves into optimism. So this is not escaping the optimism that is available to you, all right? So the Queen of Wands shifts energy towards positivity. So what are you trying to escape? Uh, optimism, okay, hold on. And this is like overcoming negativity and focusing in on what can be rather than uh, what has been. You know what I mean, guys? That's what I'm getting here. So that's kind of the thought process I'm getting here. Yeah, and this is to bring that into balance. So if you've been finding yourself a little bit more going down the rabbit hole of negativity, this is stopping yourself. This is saying, use that Leo energy here that's showing up in this card for you. This is strength. You've got the inner strength. This is inner strength. Your chariot that you got twice is outer strength, okay? This is inner strength to balance this out. You need to balance things out um, and it balance out your inner strength to shift in a new direction towards the optimism, right? And, and maybe a lot of you, you know, uh, have, have grown up with a different way of, of thinking, learning, and being. But there is time. There's a transformational time right now for you to shift the energies. And so what I get right now, what you're trying to escape is the optimism of the opportunity. Uh, and, and, and that's what I get for some reason. So give me anything more. Um, anything else that wants to come out here? What do we get? What do we get? Yeah, it's not, it's, you know what? It's doing the work. You escape doing the work and trying to go from A to to A to A, A to Z for your goal, like really super fast in the speed of light without doing the work. And that it can't happen that way. So this is all about knowing that knowing your shadow work is the best method for dealing 
with the shadows of others, okay, that are around you to make it a smoother process, but, but it also gives you greater uh, strength. So I got knowing your darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of others, all right? So it's about doing what you're, what are you trying to escape? Shadow work, right? Because you, it, it, it's, 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 it's all about the experience in learning. I mean, if you were to get what you wanted right away without any effort, there's really not much of a journey or experience or, um, you know, uh, kind of that, sati uh, that satiated feeling and excitement that you get when you finally get it because you know you work so hard for it, you know? Uh, kind of like buying that first car that you get, you know, when you're young and you get that first car. Uh, or even you get a new car and you've waited patiently for such a long time and you finally get it. And you know all that hard work and sweat and tears that you put into it. It's kind of like that, you know, it, it, it's, not a, it's not a free ticket. Uh, but I will tell you, uh, it's not meant to be because ultimately you wouldn't want it to be because the experience would be, uh, you wouldn't have any sort of experience uh, through it or, or knowing or knowledge. Uh, and that, that, that's what I'm getting here. So, you know, this is about knowing your own, own darkness and being able to, uh, uh, you know, by, by dealing with your own darkness and shining the light on that, um, you are going to be able to go towards your dreams a lot faster. Okay. Uh, and you get to uh, deal with the darkness of others. You'll be able to see it faster. And what is it that I get here? This is so funny. It's just what we talked about. The moon card that came out for advice in what you are trying to escape, which is which I got shadow work. And that's not for all of you. Some of you have been doing your shadow work, but this is a reminder to stay on track perhaps. But I do get, I'm curious about my true nature and I seek to understand myself. That is your moon guidance there. So in that position, that is exactly what we just talked about. Okay. Now, as we move on into what is your intuition trying to tell me is that this is a uh, new inspiration has, uh, has been, you've been crowned with new inspiration. All right. Um, you know, you are cutting through the clouds of the shadow and you are getting clarity in your life. And, and there is a new, uh, with the wheel of fortune coming through in your read, which is super powerful. It tells me that you, there is a changing of direction. All right. There is an expansion that you've, you've, you've come out of and the, uh, the, oh, this is, yeah, the ace of swords is a power it's victory and it's also clarity. So, you know, uh, what your intuition is telling you is, uh, to that it, it, it nudges you in the direction that gives you power. Uh, it nudges you in the direction to get clearer on things. All right. Uh, and it wants you to use your intuition as your superpower. Okay. That's what I'm getting. All right. So it wants you to uh, like, just at the bottom of the deck with the high priestess, follow your instincts. Okay. Follow your instincts. All right. Anything else that comes out for you here? What do we get? Yeah. Especially at times of, 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 you know, where there's bumps in the road, there's conflicts, you know, in a situation or tension, what, you know, in, especially with air energy, I do get, I do get air energy. Maybe perhaps you're dealing with an air sign, but I do get that. Uh, and especially at times when you have to make some sort of decision, this is at a stalemate coming to a decision. So, you know, your, what your intuition is trying to tell you is you have a decision to make that you feel that is an obstacle, but you actually got the power of victory and clarity that is, is if you haven't been crowned with it yet, it's coming. Uh, anything that wants to come through, uh, anything more that would be important to know, what do we get? Yeah, travel change and movement is already happening. The eights are all about uh, fast movement, all right? So this is, you know, taking outside action, doing what you need to do, create that change in your life because it's happening right now, okay? It's already happening, all right? And uh, anything else that uh, might want to come through, let's take a look on what it is that your intuition is trying to tell you. Oh my gosh, that your angels are guiding you and they're protecting you on your spiritual journey. So if you're changing careers, guys, if you are thinking about moving, if you're, you know, whatever this case may be, um, you know, it could be even both of them. Okay. But I, I do get, or you're, you're changing, uh, you know, uh, going from a relationship, you know, or you're, you're being guided to, uh, maybe talk to someone, whatever this case may be, uh, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey at this moment is what I'm getting. All right. And what do the moon cards say for you in terms of advice on this? What do we get? I will persist 
my will is strong. This is about moving towards success on what you want and not being afraid to go ahead and grab it, Aquarius. Go ahead and grab it. It's yours for the taking, all right? It's yours, it's your birthright. Uh, but a lot of the only thing that gets in the way sometimes is, uh, um, you know, the, the little, uh, the, the caveats, you know, kind of like the little bumps along the road, which are really to kind of fine tune us. But sometimes we look at it as saying, oh, I've got to give up. Well, no, that's not the case. I, you're not doing that, I feel. And, and this is your reminder uh, within this read. Now, what do you need to release in order to dream big? Um, this is, I get the six of moons, all right? Now, sixes are about personal improvement. And, um, you know, and this is balancing things out. This is generosity and charity. Um, so what you need to release in order to dream big, I need a clarifier on this. So let me get a little bit more if you're here. That's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, making improvements. And then I get the three of moons. So I feel that this is, um, this is working together. This is community with others. You may have to leave one group and move to another. Okay. For some of you, that is the case. Now it could be in a change of job or whatever this case may be. Um, I feel that you, a lot of you, I mean, you're humanitarians as well, but it's like, it's like sometimes you forget about taking care of you. And this is a reminder to balance that out a little bit better. Um, you know, and, and what else do I get? The world card that knowing that, that this full moon in Pisces is bringing a successful completion to something as you move forward, there is a liberation that you are experiencing that is coming into play during this time. And, and note your comments, guys, you'll feel it. it's a major arcana. And then I get the high priestess, the world card and the high priestess, use your instincts, use your instincts in terms of moving forward, whether giving or receiving. Um, it wants you to pay attention to that in your, your relationships and in your work relationships and giving and receiving, okay? Because you have an opportunity for a, a, re, a new birthing, right? This is the Empress energy, and this is birthing a new project. This is a new creative endeavor. This is using that feminine principle, knowing one's value. And a lot of times that you might put on a lot of, um, you'll give a lot of uh, help to others, but please balance it in for yourself. It's going to be key. Yeah, it wants you to also enjoy life, okay? Because a lot of you have been working really hard and and there's a wildness in you that wants to dance, all right? And I feel that this is about exploring your wildness within you and living life and um, and, and you know your shadow side and, 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 and you work willingly to transform all aspects of it. And that's what you're doing at this moment, I feel. You, I mean, it's kind of like, it's like, it's like part of your life. It's kind of like, it's almost like as if that it's um, something that a lot of you have just made a life, life maybe a, a life uh, a commitment to do, you know, is what I'm getting through here. Uh, I want to pull a card to see if anything else comes out for you here. I want to pull another card and see what comes out in terms of like your oracle advice. All right. So see if anything comes out for you here overall in your advice. But what you need in order to dream big is to focus on your shadow side, use your instincts. Um, you know, this is also work with others, community, uh, work with others as well. I think that's going to be key. Any other guidance for you here? What do we get? The shock of the new. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is that optimism. Like this is like hearing that tambourine and then the shock of the new. So what number card is this? It's a six card making self-improvement. So I feel that you're making some sort of self-improvement at this moment. So there could be some sort of healing that you're going through. You know, it's also about um, throat chakra. This is, um, this is about, um, this is about healing the throat chakra guys. Yeah. Yeah. You've outgrown some sort of old methods that you're, that you're using at this moment. You've outgrown something and now it's time for you to try the new. So the new is going to be a little bit different, a little bit uncomfortable, but it wants you to move forward in it. And it has to do with the throat chakra. It might have to do with expression of something guys, right? Life is going to show you the way, okay? Um, you know, so experiment with new ways of being the Aquarius that you are, all right? And, and um, this is also that you're being invited, um, uh, and, and, you know, to the new. You can handle it. This, this, you're going to get guidance. 
and you're about to encounter something new and different in your life and it's going to be super helpful. So I feel that that's what's happened. It's going to be an eye-opening experience, right? And it has to do with communication of your throat chakra in some sort of way, okay? Yeah, you're making, you are, are focusing in on the creative flow and you're being inspired even more to open, okay? Wow, and it's just all about making improvements in your life, all right? So I'm gonna pull a final little message um, that comes through, um, any sort of message that comes through, like a little fortune message that comes through for Aquarius and what do we get for this uh, full moon in Pisces? You are only as old as you feel. There you go, guys. You are only as old as you feel. So I want you to remember that, like the shock of the new. You know, it, I was discussing this when I was talking to family members the other day. And, you know, we were, uh, you know, and I was hanging out with someone who was like seven years younger than myself, a family member. And uh, I was having more energy than that person was. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, it is. It's like really focusing on your inner energy, your youthful spirit. And I think that it why, why the shadow message came out, explore your wildness, explore your playfulness, dance in the pleasure of life because you have everything to be happy for. Um, and uh, you're only as old as you feel. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Note your comments, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.